Hi, my name's Jerry, and I'm a Twin Troller X10 boat owner. Well, in a little while, you're going to see a video, and the video is by Ted. Ted also owns a Twin Troller X10, but Ted has decided for personal reasons to sell his Twin Troller. And he'll explain all that in the video. So if you are interested in buying Ted's twin troller, you need to pay attention. And pay attention, please. Because in the past, I've sold boats, and people get this all wrong. I don't know if they just don't watch the whole video. But I explain the same thing repeatedly. If you're interested, send me an email to this location. That is my email address. I will then forward that email that you send to me to Ted. And what do you need to have in your email to me? You need to have your name, that you're interested in Ted's boat. You need to say that. I sell other boats sometimes. I don't know which one you're talking about when you say, I'm interested in the boat. And that just doesn't work well. So please say, I'm interested in Ted's boat. Provide a phone number to contact you and an email address and send it to here. All right, let's go watch Ted show you his boat. Hey guys, it's Ted from Ohio. This is my twin troller. It's awesome. If you don't know what a twin troller is, check them out at Freedom Electric Marine. But it's a hands-free fishing boat for one to two people with trolling motors under both sides of the boat's hull, giving you like unmatched control of the boat with your feet and basically making it untippable as it sucks into the water. If you see me before on Lunker Fishing, it's the one I've been modifying the past three seasons. Well, this year, one of my best friends had a stroke, and it's going to be rough for him to ever get back into Twin Troller again. I also found out I'm going to have a grandson this December. Well, total shock. And uh, both of my twin sons are back into fishing now. So I'm kind of looking to get a boat that can handle at least three people so I never have to leave someone at home. So therefore, I'm selling my Twin Troller. Uh, if you've never seen me before, I'll detail what's up for sale here in a minute. But to give you an idea, a Camel Deluxe Twin Troller with a trailer and an outboard motor and a canvas cover from Freedom Electric will run you close to $7,600 bucks, plus tax and shipping. So we'll round it down and say $8,000. And you'll still need a battery, and some of your items will probably be back ordered as well, like a battery box, a cover and even the outboard motor, the Honda was uh, recently. So with all this supply chain crap. And if you haven't shot for a boat trailer recently, you're gonna be pretty surprised at what they're going for now as well. But anyway, the package I have, you'll get everything with a deluxe troller. Obviously nothing's on back order. It's ready to drive away. And as I'll show you, it has a few extras that I've added over the last 36 months. First off, you're gonna get a longer and an all welded galvanized low drag trailer. You're not bolting it together. It's got a spare tire, adjustable dolly, side bunks, and bearing buddies that are already installed on both wheels. Your outboard is an e-propulsion spirit electric three horsepower, and it includes two battery packs, which is basically like two full tanks of gas on a Honda 2.3. You'll never run out of power and you'll run in silence. This is the real deal, guys. This retails for about 3,000 bucks, two batteries and the motor. You can check it out, but there's no gas, there's no oil, there's no fumes, there's no maintenance, and there's no noise. It's super easy to operate and it provides real time data on the battery. You're gonna love it. It's absolutely perfect for this boat. You also get front navigation lights, removable front and rear spotlights, 
has a switch panel in the back that controls them, and along with a 12 volt battery, it also runs the Lorenz fish finder so it doesn't use your trolling battery. Your trolling motor battery is in a Minn Kota battery box. It's a charging box with outlets and a power meter. You get a sliding seat mount for the back seat. And believe me, Solo or the back angler is really going to appreciate that. You get a removable pedestal with the detachable sliding mounts that are on both the butt seat and the standard seat. And you could set up the boat as usual troller if you want with the other sliding chair rail mount that has a tackle drawer system set up underneath it. You get two removable front casting decks with the straight foot pedal mounts and there's tackle storage underneath both of them. There's hydro surf installed on both the decks and it's also inside the rod trays of the boat. Makes it very quiet. You get a portable back casting deck for the second person and it stores underneath if they don't want to use it. You get eight rail blades of star mounts for accessories mounted all over the boat, front, back, sides. You also get two cup holders, a cell phone holder, two sizes of extensions, and obviously the two spotlights. And there's a host of other things you can get. Just check out railblazer.com. You get two ram mount ball extensions on the Lorance Fish Finder, which is a hook 2-4, and it also has a cover. You get two seven foot pin anchors for shallow water anchoring, both front and the back. You get a portable quick lift dolly for launching or moving the trailer without the trailer. We only used it once to get the boat on the trailer when we first got it. You get detachable pipe mounts for two attachable and tiltable umbrellas for sunny days, and you'll be amazed at what they can do. You get removable trailer poles so you can see where your trailer is at when you're backing it in. If neither of the casting decks are used, you have steps on each side of the front of the boat that are already installed and can be used for casting purposes up front if you decide to set the boat up like a standard trawler. Get all the user manuals, obviously the titles for the boat and the trailer, and two canvas boat covers with an Adidas carry bag. One is the original trawler size and the other is an oversized with the elastic bottom. So it's real easy to get on, it's got great coverage, and it's perfect to use during overnight stays when the boat's outside. So well, there you have it guys. It's tough to give up my trawler just thinking about it. I love it. I've done something to improve it all three years I've had it. It's a one man fishing machine and it's plenty good with another person as well. But like I mentioned it doesn't hold three people and I realize that's probably where I need to go if I want to keep this up. So if you're looking for a one to two man boat that's quiet, it's lightweight, it's hands free and it's maintenance free, this just might be your ticket. This is the first and only place I put this boat up for sale. So I'd really like to have a viewer of Jerry's channel get it, if it's possible, because this is the first channel I ever subscribed to on YouTube. It's one of the first places I originally found when I was searching for info on this trailer three years ago. So I haven't posted it anywhere else yet. Everything's here, it's ready to pick up in Ohio as soon as you'd like to get it. Just hit the dump driveway and get fishing. I'm firm at 7,200 bucks via PayPal or cash, and I'm willing to drive it to Ohio State Line, either east, west, or south. You'll get a whole lot more for a whole lot less than a standard package at Freedom Electric. Obviously, they don't even have a casting deck. And you'll be getting an all-electric outboard. You're not going to find that anywhere else. Nothing's back ordered. we got all the stuff here. Boat's been used only three short seasons here for Ohio. You know how fast the fishing seasons go here. And it's been inside the garage almost all the other time, so... If you're interested, get a hold of Jerry to put you in touch with me. There's a few other videos on Lunker Fishing on the modification projects, so if you really like to take a more in-depth look of it. But uh, that's it. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. You guys all take care. And as usual, tight lines from Ohio. Well, now that you've watched Ted's video, you know all the hard work he's put into his boat. He's done tremendous amounts of uh, additions and modifications to his boat to make it more user-friendly. 
And hopefully you like those things. If you are, you can buy the boat by sending an email to me. Again, to this email address, say who you are, say that you're interested in Ted's boat, and a phone number for you, and an email address for you. Send that to me, I will send it to Ted. Ted will contact you directly, and you can try to work out some kind of a deal. Good luck, and I'm sorry to see you go, Ted. You've been a good friend for years. Bye now.